Happy birthday to me. I gifted myself an iPhone 11 Pro. This may not be a big deal for many of you. But I, who does not like spending much on phones, it's literally splurging for me. I went from no iPhone to 11 Pro. Voila, my birthday lunch prepared by Chef Me. Simple basmati rice. I've cooked pork with potatoes and then um, I got some fish from a Sri Lankan restaurant. The rest are prepared by me except for that fish. And these are some healthy broccoli. I mixed some olive oil and lemon juice with it. Okay, this is how I'm going to enjoy my birthday meal. Ta-da! I'm all set ready to go over to my friend's place and have a beautiful day. As you had seen, I managed to make only lunch for my birthday. My friends were at work, so I'm meeting them the next day. There was not much option in this lockdown. Honestly, deep inside, I was feeling quite low. Not because I had to blow many candles, if you all know what I'm referring to. I stopped counting at 25. And on a side note, my friends have no idea that it was my birthday. I just wanted to enjoy today for the day it is and I feel birthday will add unnecessary pressure to make us feel happy I don't know <laughs> sometimes just acknowledging that you are not alright is the right step now as I'm going to my friend's place I want to share with you all some measures I take to keep my mind safe Firstly, be grateful. If you're not, then just learn to be grateful. You all won't believe how being grateful has changed my life for the better. It helps you to see the world with a totally different perspective. Secondly, do some sort of physical activity as it helps in releasing endorphins and serotonin that improves the mood. As for me, I just love a long, simple walk. Thirdly, try to utilize your free time to learn a new skill or art, like I'm doing with video making, and sometimes I learn to cook a new recipe. Do not let your mind remain idle, as we all know an idle mind is a devil's workshop. Fourthly, the 20-year-old me would have said, make plenty of new friends. You're gonna be very happy with them. But the now wiser me says, be kind and friendly with everyone. Just keep your mind and senses open. Fifthly, take a deep breath. Relax and take one day at a time. Do not chase for the train and in the process injure yourself. Wait for the next train. Be sensible. You will still reach your destination. Last and most importantly, have faith in your maker. We as believers do not simply lead our lives with our feelings as if it's so. I might want to care for COVID patients one day and the next day run away from them. We live by faith, no matter what. We all have been hit hard by an unexpected pandemic. It's challenging for all of us. It's a big challenge for me to go to work every day. At the same time, there will be people facing financial challenge or basic need challenge or it could even be job crisis. We are all together. Finally, we reached my friend's apartment. Oh, you cannot see much from here. Okay. Oops. 
nice. with these pencil heels but I just wanted to wear them I don't know why let me see there you tell me this is a pencil heel ah, custom oh, happy, shy, happy, shy, happy, shy, happy, shy, so this is okay, the house number is 15 so this is Rani Papachan the co-owner of the house so Rani how are you so please tell me about how your experience in this beautiful house has been. I know it's just a day or two, right? How many days now? It's day three. Day three. So what are the best things you like about this house, the location? It's a really good neighborhood. We would like to hear from you. The best thing in this house is the, of course the balcony. Yes. And uh, when I searching like the flats, Hmm. The most attractive thing that I found in the flat is this balcony. So that I thought, no, we will rent this. I totally agree with her. This balcony is like awesome. It just uh, de-stresses you after work. This place, I, I bet even at night, it will be heavenly. So I'm here at Sonia and Rani's place. Going to have a beautiful day. Having a lovely meal with my friends is a delight for me. I'm grateful that I have people around that I can count on in this new place. We had a simple Kerala dish, but on my tummy, it was so full. This followed with a lovely conversation about anything and everything under the sky. The best part about a beautiful day is you never know how time passes and you will not realize it runs so swiftly. Yes, I had a beautiful birthday. It was not as I had planned, but it turned out beautiful anyway. Always remember, no one can keep you happy except you. Bye.